Is Tom Brady retiring? That is not a question I expected to ask you guys or myself this offseason. Just a few weeks ago, if you asked me, oh, do you think Tom Brady is retiring? I'd be like, oh, no way. What are you, crazy? But now, I am not so sure we are going to see Brady playing next season after some of his recent comments. So here are some quotes from his podcast. Let's go. So let me just read some of these quotes. Quote, this is from Brady. Brady said, quote, I think as I've gotten older, I think the best part is, is football is extremely important in my life. And it means a lot to me. And I care a lot about what we're trying to accomplish as a team. And I care a lot about my teammates, quote. Then he also said, quote, the biggest difference now that I'm older is I have kids now too, you know, and I care about them a lot as well. They've been my biggest supporters. My wife is my biggest supporter. It pains her to see me get hit out there. And she deserves what she needs from me as a husband. And my kids deserve what they need from me as a dad. He also went on to say, quote, I'm going to spend some time with them and give them what they need. Because they've really been giving me what I need the last six months to do what I love to do. I said this a few years ago. It's what relationships are all about. It's not always what I want. It's what we want as a family. And I'm going to spend a lot of time with them and figure out in the future what's next. So that definitely doesn't sound like Tom Brady is just set on returning. You know what I'm saying? I would expect something from Brady to be like, yeah, I'm coming back. I don't know why I just thought that would be the case a couple weeks ago. But this seems like it's going to be really a family decision, which like, you know, respect to Brady for for being like that and just, you know, taking his whole family and what they want um, into account. I mean, he's going to be 45 years old in August. Like, it's crazy that he's played this long. 45? It's crazy that the man is still elite. Like, I think Tom Brady still has all the talent in the world to play, right? Like, I think Tom Brady still has all the skill to play. I don't think he's washed or done or anything like that. Like, I think Tom Brady still has the skill set to play, still is in shape enough to play. I think what's really going to make the decision for, for him is what his family wants. Like, I don't think this is necessarily just his decision. From these quotes that he said on his podcast, from what he said on his podcast, it seems like it's not just going to be what he wants. It's going to be what's best for everyone. And, like, Giselle... I could I could imagine, you know, her being, you know, upset when she sees him taking those hits out there. I mean, I would be upset if, like, you know, Tom Brady was my husband and I see him just getting consistently hit out there. It's got to be scary. Like, if you're Giselle, that's got to be a scary thing. I mean, I we watch players get hit all the time. We're not related to them, but we're just humans. And we're like, oof, oh, my gosh. Like, we get nervous and we don't even know these people. So I can't even imagine uh, what that's like for Giselle. So do we think this is real? I just can't even imagine this could possibly be it for Tom Brady. Like, just like that, just like that, he's done. Like, he's the GOAT. Like, I know he said he doesn't want a farewell tour and all that, but he can run it back one more year. I think he could have one more year. Like, I think that actually might be the outcome of all of this, is that Tom and Giselle and the whole fam talk, and they're like, all right. One more year. But I don't think he's going to publicly say this is my last year. But I think he's just going to come back and try to run it back. Because think about all the injuries the Bucks had this season, right? You know, Chris Godwin going down was huge. Werf's not, you know, getting injured. Werf's getting injured in the playoffs was huge. The defense had so many injuries throughout the season. You know, this, this Bucks team was not healthy for the majority of the year. Antonio Brown leaving the team. So much stuff happened to this team. They weren't a complete roster. They weren't the roster they expected to be, I guess you could say, um, throughout the season with all the injuries and stuff. I mean, Mike Evans was that number one guy through the playoffs when, you know, there was usually Chris Godwin out there with him, A.B., you know, a handful of really, really good wide receivers. So I think of Tom Brady, I'm like, all right, we got we got another chance at this. Like, we're going to be healthy or we're going to do our best we can to be healthy next season. And I think we'll have a better shot. I mean, the man almost came back from being down 27 to 3 at the age of 44. He almost brought this team back from being down 27 to 3. He's not done skill-wise. Absolutely not. But I think it gets to the point where, like he said, his family just wants to be be around him more. Like, he's been doing this for so long. They're probably like, Giselle's probably like, I want to just, like, hang out with you, you know? Like, 
I understand there's an off season and stuff, but I think I think it's really going to come down to what his family wants. But if I had to guess what's going to happen with Tom Brady next season, I would say he plays one more year. I'm not saying we'll know at the beginning of the year that it's his final season, but I'm saying that I think next year will probably be his final year. I don't see him retiring just now when you know they still have a really good team down there in Tampa Bay, but I think next season, they could come to the conclusion now that next season will probably be the last season, but they'll come to that conclusion in private. Like they won't, they won't tell the public that, you know, it's his last season. Maybe Tom will tell, you know, the team, but it's just crazy to think that soon Tom Brady's not going to be in the league. Like that's just mind blowing to me because that man is the goat. And we've just been witnessing history these past few years. As much as I didn't want the Patriots to win the Super Bowl, sometimes he is the goat. Like that man is the goat. And it's just crazy to think he actually might retire. I mean, he's turning 45 in August. It just seemed like this man was never going to stop. It seemed like he was going to get to the point where the NFL was like, you have to retire. But, oh my gosh. I just, I would be really sad if Tom Brady retired right now. Like if that was his, if that was it for Tom Brady, I would be really sad. Because personally, I would like to see him play in person before he retires. So maybe next season we'll have to go to a game wherever he's playing closest to New York or even go to Florida for a weekend just to see him play because that man is the GOAT and it's it, it's just going to be sad. Like, he's been in the NFL my whole lifetime, really. He was drafted a year after I was born. I don't remember watching the NFL without Brady. So when he retires, it's going to be a sad day. And I, I really just hope he's back uh, for one more season. So, yeah, my final my final prediction here is Brady comes back for one more season. That's my prediction. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope that's not it for Brady. I hope my prediction is correct or I hope he comes back for more than one season. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you want to subscribe, that'd be cool too. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think Brady's coming back for a year, two years, or is he retiring now? That is it, guys. Peace.